Hello guys, welcome to Eelspace YouTube channel. Alright, my name is David Orok and I'm the founder of Eelspace. In this video tutorial, I am going to take you through uh, you know, some process that will show you how to get a fully funded scholarship to actually study technological entrepreneurship at Inapolis University in Russia. This video is for startup founders and entrepreneurs who have always been interested in you know going back to school to get uh, you know more knowledge and more information on how to really build a technological company. Inapolis University in Russia offers that opportunity for startup founders and entrepreneurs who really want to learn the nitty gritties of actually building a successful technological company. So I'm going to take you through the process so you can see the, the, the website and how to go about doing your application because the university is currently accepting applications. All right, so let's dive in immediately. Okay, so this is the university's website and this is how you get access to different information about the university. So uh, we're going to go straight to clicking here for applicants and then uh, what do you what you get to see here is uh, we have different uh, programs here. So we have different learning programs. We have undergrad undergraduate program. We also have uh, the master's degree program and PhD program. So uh, this video is specifically for the master's degree program called technological entrepreneurship or information technology entrepreneurship. All right. So we will just go ahead and click on this, learn more. And then we go to the part that has to do with the master's degree program offered by the university. So here, there are several uh, master's degree program that is made available by the university. We have software engineering, we have systems and network security engineering, we have artificial intelligence and data engineering, we have robotics and computer vision, and we have information technology entrepreneurship, also called technological entrepreneurship, all right? So this program is designed for founders who are ready to start a business immediately during training. You can defend a startup like a diploma, create a ready-made viable product and officially work for yourself as an entrepreneur the language of instruction is in English all right so you don't need to worry yourself about learning the Russian language before starting your academic year all right okay so how to proceed so these are the steps that you need to take to proceed okay so you have to apply for selection then pass the selection remotely and then receive a study grant okay so uh, in the process you have to register in your personal account, fill out the application form, attach a, resum a resume and motivation letter in English, pass the online test, profile and knowledge of English, submit an application for consideration. When you're done with that, you're going to be moved to the next stage, which is where you're going to pass the selection remotely. If the result of the consideration of the application is positive, uh, the university will invite you to the second round of selections, which will be held remotely. All right. So this particular part includes profile testing, testing in English, interview with a professor in English, and soft skills assessment. And then the very la last stage, which is uh, you know receive a study grant. Here, the selection committee will notify the results of the selection by email. If you successfully pass the selection, you will receive a grant for education and become a university student in August. All right. OK, so uh, let's just go here and then click uh, the application button here, the link here. And then this is the page for the program itself, Information Technology Entrepreneurship, also called Technological Entrepreneurship. All right. So this particular program is for those who want to become an entrepreneur in IT industry. All right. So if at all you're interested in becoming uh, an IT entrepreneur, this course is for you. All right. So if at all you've also been struggling, you know, you've been trying to uh, build a technological company and you find yourself failing. All right. So uh, this program is going to help teach you how to actually do it successfully this time all right okay so um i'm going to just go through some basic processes just so that i don't get to make this video very long all right so uh here is the learning structure so the, the, the learning structure for this program is two years of full-time study. That means one year of study plus one year of practice. Starts of training is always mid-August, okay? So the program is taught entirely in English. And just like I said before, you won't have to worry about learning the Russian language before starting your academic year, okay? So um, 
Another thing is this, the training program. The program is designed to train found, founders who are ready to start a business immediately during the training. Graduates graduate with a viable product. You can officially work for yourself as an entrepreneur. All right, there's uh, another part, which is the industrial practice. So the second year of study is devoted to industrial practice. Business development work is included in the academic plan of the program and not in addition to it. All right, so uh, then the last part here is startup as a diploma. So students, as it, students as a thesis will be able to defend a startup as a diploma, all right, according to the Ministry of Education and Science. Graduates, instead of a typical university research paper, will submit a master's thesis based on their business experience. Such experience is no less valuable than scientific engineering academic, all right? So, um, all you just need to do is visit the website in Apollos State University and then check to, to know more about the program, all right? So the program uh, benefits. So graduates will receive an official uh, university education and a master's degree. Okay, students will systematically engage in business from scratch and at the same time receive a scholarship. There will be an opportunity uh, not to think about making money and focus on a startup 100%. All right, while preparing for the thesis, students will have a supervisor who will tell you how to implement complex product ideas and a business manager who will help with the development of the project, consult on business issues and share the necessary contacts. All right, graduates who may not find employment in Napoli's resident companies and immediately uh, officially work for themselves in the status of an entrepreneur. The university is interested in the results of students, therefore it will contribute to a promotion of a startup in the media space among partners and for the supervisory board. So this is, uh, these are the lecturers in the program. So we have, our, uh, you can actually come to the website and then read more about the different lecturers that we have in the program. Okay, and uh, the program applicant, all right. So you, you might be asking yourself, uh, what are the requirements? How do I get to know that I'm going to be a perfect fit for this program? All right, so I'm just going to take you through the program applicant status. All right, so uh, one of the most important part here is that uh, you must possess basic technical skill. That means you should know at least one programming language. It's not a must, right? But you should know these things. And uh, it, it doesn't have to be that you, you learned it, you know, in your bachelor's program. It doesn't have to be that you studied computer science or computer engineering, all right? Okay, so um, you can get to uh, uh, maybe learn uh, how the program from Udemy, YouTube, or Coursera. All right. So, but the idea is you should know how to at least uh, you know use one programming language. Okay. So the next part here is the student uh, must have experience of participating in the development of entrepreneurial IT project as a founder or as a co-founder or the technical manager. All right. So the next part here is must have experience in launching uh, new products independently. All right. That's uh, one of the uh, requirements, okay? So, uh, and then must possess an entrepreneurial nature and leadership inclinations, all right? And then also able to organize the work of a team of specialists. That means you need to be able to, uh, you know, have the ability to put together a team to work on your project because of course, as an entrepreneur, you don't get to work alone. Okay, so uh, full of entrepreneurial ideas and has experience in commercializing at least one of them. So uh, if I told you someone who, you know, in the past or currently, you have always been, uh, you know, excited about, you know, finding solutions to problems and commercializing them, then this program is for you. All right. Okay, so uh, possesses basic technical skills, knows at least one programming language. All right, so we already talked about this. So let's go down to our, the admission campaign for 2023, and that's 2023 slash 2024. All right, so, our, so the university is giving um, up to 30 people grants for this course. All right, so we have here 30 places under the grants. That means uh, there are like available 30 slots for grants. All right, so and, and you can actually get a 100% scholarship. That means you don't need to be worried about uh, having to work to raise money to feed yourself and all that. The university will provide you with our money to feed yourself and not think about taking a job. All right, okay, so um, this is the, uh, the different steps on how to proceed so we, you have like uh, three steps here okay so uh, 
you have to apply for selection then you have to pass the selection remotely and receive a study grant all right so um now the requirements is you need a bachelor's degree all right you need a bachelor's degree basic programming skills you need uh, to be able to like you know or speak English and write in English, all right? That means you must have been taught uh, with English in your bachelor program. And then you have to also have a good knowledge in product development, management of software engineering, management or software engineering. Uh, you must have had some experience in uh, development of entrepreneurial projects in the IT field, all right? So I already mentioned all of this, and um, I think this is the part where we will just go ahead and uh, click on the link to apply so you can see our more things right so where is the application button so let's click here to apply so you just click here to apply and then here you can actually get to fill in some details so I will just fill in some details okay so upon uh, upon uh, you know registering all right so you're going to be brought to this part where you get to see uh, you know this particular screen that I'm seeing right now all right so uh, here you get to click to uh, you know take the test take the English test all right okay then you can go ahead and then click on this part to see the different documents that is required of you so you need a uh, you need to attach some documents you need to take the english test and then click to submit for review and all that this is like the different steps all right in the process okay so um what you just need here the documents so let's go to documents down so uh these are the different uh files so you need to upload your cv in english you need to upload a scan of the diploma with the application all right then uh so basically the three documents that you need here is you need to uh, you know a summary in English diploma with application and then motivation later in English all right so uh, let's go ahead and look at this so you upload a CV in English then upload a scan of the diploma with the application slash gradebook that means your your, your transcript all right so you, you need to upload your your transcript okay so uh, here you need to uh, download a motivation later okay so this is like a guide for your motivation later so you can you know try to download it and then uh, you need to uh, write the motivation later it has to be between 400 to 600 words and then when you're done with that you you, you know you go ahead and click on these different parts to upload the files and then you know submit for a review all right so this is this is the, like the guides for the the motivation later so if you go through this this guide, you get to see what the the university wants to see in your motivation letter, which is going to make your application, you know, good. All right. So make sure you pay attention to what is found inside the motivation letter. All right. Okay. So let's get back here, and then there is a, a CV a template. So you click on it to download the CV template. So with the CV template, you get to um, you get to see. Uh, the sample of the CV all right so you try to make sure that you use, use exactly the same uh, sample all right so that's that's like it okay so uh, with that being said uh, if you go ahead and then do exactly what I have you know mentioned here ensuring that you pay attention to the details that are found in the you know in the motivation letter guide and then also pay attention to what you expected to put in the in your in your CV all right then after you're done with that you go ahead and submit for review and uh, after a couple of days all right the university will get back to you with regards to the status of your application so this is going to be the end of this video and i wish you good luck in your application and uh, see you at Annapolis university in mid-august okay so if at all you have not you know subscribed to this youtube channel please kindly just click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this youtube channel and then if you have any um, any any comment at all some information you need to know just drop it on the comment section and then i will be sure to attend to it all right see you at Annapolis University in mid-August. Cheers guys.